channel. If you know me, if you've seen my channel before, um, you know that I do a lot of playing with my different toys, my sand toys, my razors, four-wheelers, Harleys. Um, been talking about getting that new camper. Um, we bought a camper before. Still have it. Didn't quite work out, so what I ended up getting was this little bad boy right here. <clears throat> So what this is, is a 2000 Northland, 2000 Polar. Snagged this up a couple weeks ago. Took a trip last week with it, last weekend actually, and it did very well. I'm still learning the in and outs of it. As you can see, it's a very heavy camper. It's kind of squatting my dually. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and get some. Out of leaves or airbags or something for the rear of the truck so that she's not quite as saggy. What you got in here is you got your, your batteries will go in here. This is where you get your water put in. Refrigerator, furnace, then your connector of course. Propane tanks. It's your water heater. It's got the lights on the side. Good ladder. It's all been re roofed. Not re roofed, but sealed. Um, what you got down here is your different storage. This is where you're going to actually do your uh, flush of your sewer lines. It's actually got a flip up piece here where I store my, my hose. Probably need to get another one of those. Uh, more storage back behind there. Generator. And then I got storage that actually goes under the table of this fold-out on both of these sides here. And it's actually got an exterior shower the light above it here. <clears throat> Had to go ahead and put the extenders on it. It's got those plus plates, so I gotta push it out. And clear them duels. There's the alpine light, the one I was going to use, but unfortunately, this one came along. It was only a couple grand more and twice a camper. So I went with that instead. So I'll go ahead and hook this up and we'll go ahead and have a look inside. So basically, inside the door here, Got a little switch you hit. Holds out that whole side. Comes out quite a bit, gives you quite a bit of room. Pretty handy. Going inside, guy I bought this off actually pretty much reconditioned the whole inside of this. Like I said, this is a 2000 camper and it looks brand spanking new. So, Really, you got your table here. I gotta put some Velcro behind these things so that they stay still. You got storage up under the table, like I said. That's where you can get access from the back side. He actually made this table here out of epoxy. Pretty nice. So that'll fold down, go on these, and then you fold the bed out into a bed. You got another storage here. Up here the guy went ahead and put lights right there. The little switches here. Now I'm going to turn the power on. So you can turn those on like that. Going through you have your utensils. Utensils. Three jars there. You have what would have been where your old TV would have fit. What I'm going to do is so you got your hookups up here and your plugs. It's been converted over one pin. Um, what I'm going to do is get a small TV and put it right in here. And then I'll put my DVD player and games or whatever up there for the kids. So then I can watch it from this area here. You got under the 
the sink area. Got quite a bit of room down there. This guy upgraded the sink. Put all new countertops in. Redid all this up here. I guess his wife didn't like the wood grain, so he painted everything the white and gray, which looks pretty nice. Put all new flooring in it, which is that gray flooring. Looks really nice. Got a three burner stove, an oven, fan lights, all them goods, and a microwave. More storage up here. Paper towel holder. You got this little fold out rack, which is pretty nice. We still haven't quite stocked this place up yet. We're still in the middle of that. So, big, huge refrigerator. Look at the size of this thing. So much room. We got a big size freezer in it as well. Go up front. Slide this little door here, and you got a bathroom. Got your toilet, got a lot of storage down in there. Storage up here, and then your medicine cabinet and stuff up there. Nice sink to match the other one. Your tiling up in here. It's got a stand up shower. And they got these cool little sliding blinds so you can have the sunroof open and closed. Pretty nice. You give me another shower curtain it'll match everything. A gray one I think. So down here more storage. Fuse panel. It's got an extinguisher. It's also got a sensor for gas. Big huge closet area. We can hang your clothes up in here. It's even got lights up in here. What the guy did also was uh, he upgraded everything to your LEDs. So all the lights in here look like that. It's also got a Jensen stereo system in it. So there's the speakers up here. Now, once you get up top, that's where you really get your room. So open up this closet, you got a deep. I mean there's a lot of stuff in there right now. It goes down probably another foot. Deep closet area there. Place to mount another TV here. Drawer with some swords. <clears throat> Look at the size of that closet space. It's a double door. You also have these spaces up here, which you can store all kinds of stuff on both sides. Then up top you have of course, the drawer, the cabinet. It's got a brand new queen size bed put in it. Little LED lights up there. Speakers. And then, of course, your escape hatch or sunroom. Got another fire alarm. So, Air conditioner. Then you put in these big LED lights, which are all over. <clears throat> Here's your heater thermostat. And then it's got, of course, your open up fan vents. So once you kick this on, you can actually kick this so that it sucks the air out or pushes the air in. It's pretty cool. Place up here where you could actually mount a curtain, which I'll probably do later. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, got a pretty good deal on it, like I said, and uh, trying to sell that other one, so hopefully I get rid of it so I can make some of the money back to put towards this one. But uh, anyway, just wanted to give you guys an idea of what I got, what I'm going to camp with. We're going to pull the razor with it. Um, I had to order up a four foot hitch to put underneath this thing because it stretches out a long ways. So I'm going to get that in. Hopefully we'll get some sort of spring shock or airbag system towards the back of this vehicle so I can lift it up because once I put the trailer on it's really going to So I don't really want to ride like that so we'll go ahead and jack up the rear end of the, the truck so that we can 
I got a 20 foot dovetail that's going to have a, a razor and a, uh, a new banshee that we're building put on it so that we can take it to the dunes. And uh, should be pretty set after that. <clears throat> anyway, I uh, just want to share that with you guys and uh, I don't know, let me know what you think about it. Um, like, subscribe if you like the content. I'm always putting out videos on all kinds of different stuff I get. So, uh, more to come. We'll see y'all. Thanks for watching.